Auz bilayim neştuman rejim bismillahirrahmanirrahim assalamu alaikum student good morning everyone uh, this is me Muhammad Rahim mm, uh, chapter number 18 evolution from class 10th biology here you can open your book page number 129 uh, let's uh, start evolution what uh, actually evolution means evolution uh, generally means uh, uh, change okay uh, so uh, the word evolution is uh, evolve derived from evolve evolve means change or developed or develop or advance or something which is uh, go pro in progress means something is developing a uh, uh, toward progress uh, evolution actually means uh, but in others in other words uh, evolution means changing change changes in uh, as we are uh, studying uh, biology so uh, the definition of evolution we can uh, do like this that uh, evolution is a process of gradual changes in the um, shape of animals in the bodies of animals in the structure of animals of living organisms uh, it is also called biological and organic changes because there are uh, um, in the biological uh, structure, biological processes, bi biological habits of organisms, uh, a change take place. Uh, so therefore, we can say evolution is a biological and organic change in the bodies of animals and organisms. Uh, and third point there is a, a, a term used new forms or structures uh, actually evolution is the production of new forms and structures of organisms over a time with the with the passage of time uh, evolution uh, 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 produce new shapes of organisms it means the 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 animal change from their old forms into the new shapes they they get new shapes they evolve from the old uh, structures into the news so we can say uh, evolution is the production of new forms of uh, organisms uh, over time many question arises uh, while uh, thinking about evolution that uh, uh, why are organisms different? How did organisms obtain different features? Uh, here are different questions on uh, your uh, in your book on page number 129. You can uh, uh, read this and uh, uh, sent, uh, many scientists to work and get knowledge um, about these questions and they um, after it experiments and after um, um, hypothesis formations experiments and interpretations they uh, um, answer these questions and they uh, um, said it uh, evolution uh, progress of modification and ancestral forms uh, pro, uh, process of modifications uh, of ancestral forms ancestral forms means the uh, uh, father of the uh, Mm, the parents of the uh, present animals means uh, from where they evolved they are called their ancestors ancestor means parents ancestors are those organisms uh, those living organisms from which the present shape of life uh, uh, was evolved uh, so they are called ancestral uh, in simply we can say parents so parental form ancestral forms so uh, actually evolution is the uh, process of modification means uh, in the ancestral form of organisms a modification comes uh, then that modification uh, will be called uh, evolution descent with modification descent means uh, the uh, descent uh, organisms uh, they are with modification that we can call it evolution means uh, the ancestral forms uh, modifies into uh, into new uh, into new uh, forms into new structures and they will be called uh, evolution uh, simply evolution uh, actually changes from one form to another form just a little bit modification uh, comes uh, in the in the form in the structures in the habits in the uh, functions of the organisms of living organisms so it it, it will be called um, 
evolution does not lead to finished final products evolution is a process uh, that never give you a, f a final product because it is a continuous process it uh, it is uh, along with the um, continuity of life uh, tell uh, Till a life is continue, the process of evolution will be continued. So therefore, uh, evolution uh, never finished a final product. It means evolution is a continuous process. Uh, there are uh, some uh, terminologies uh, while uh, studying evolutions. Uh, we have a, a term uh, variation. Variation means simply in Urdu we can say تغيرات or تغيرات means تبديلي changes how changes come in the uh, structures of organisms simply uh, we said that differences shown by the individual organism of one kind of living organisms are called variation when uh, a same uh, organisms of the uh, same species uh, uh, show uh, differences um, means there are I many differences between uh, uh, two organisms or among the uh, organisms of uh, in population or any species uh, that show differences that differences those differences we will call variation means changes simply uh, a variation means the differences in characteristics of organisms belonging to same species when uh, organisms belong to same species same species means uh, uh, they have same uh, all the same organisms in the next slide we will define uh, species actually what is species species is the group of same organisms same animals same uh, living organisms we can say so when the uh, uh, when uh, organisms show differences in their characteristics belonging to same species and that will be called variation variation are due to the characteristics uh, when uh, uh, in characteristics we get uh, uh, differences uh, that will be called variation uh, come to uh, species uh, the word species is here defined species species uh, uh, word which uh, has singular and plural uh, both are species uh, means we can say a singular uh, species and uh, plural also species uh, species actually group of same organisms it is same organisms they are same in characteristic that can interbreed they can do uh, 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 they can interbreed they can do sex and produce fertile offsprings fertile offspring means uh, those uh, uh, um, children uh, those offsprings they can again interbreed and produce um, offsprings uh, so uh, a, a group of same organisms hjc organisms ka group that can interbreed jo uh, interbreed kar sakte and produce fertile offspring fertile offspring means uh, aise bachche jo aage phir bachche paida kar sakte they are called fertile offsprings now this is the definition of species uh, types of characteristics uh, uh, as we have uh, uh, we uh, um, uh, read this that uh, varia, uh, evolution is change and variations are change in characteristics so we have to uh, uh, learn uh, the uh, types of characteristics actually how uh, types are uh, characteristics are there there are two types of characteristics hereditary characteristics and non hereditary characteristics characteristics hereditary characteristic uh, characters are those characters which are transfer which can transfer which transfer from parents to offspring offspring means children or new generation means those characteristics which can uh, transfer from one generation to uh, an, uh, another generation from parents to offspring from parents to their children's those characteristics those uh, characters are called hereditary characters hereditary uh, in Urdu we say veracity uh, so uh, those changes will be called hereditary characteristics uh, for example eye color if a person uh, uh, if a parent has black eye color so if uh, he transfer this uh, 
character into his uh, children uh, that there there is uh, that his children will have black color eye colors so it means it is a hereditary character it is transferred from uh, their parents to into them here color tongue ruling many people rule their tongues very well so it is also a hereditary character and uh, non hereditary characteristics uh, they are not transferred from parent to offsprings it means those characters uh, characteristics which are not transferred from parents to children and they uh, are called non hereditary characters uh, characteristics uh, like how like a parent is uh, habitual of something of taking tea um, or of smoking is habitual of smoking uh, so it is parent is is children do not t um, take any kind of uh, uh, smoke or uh, uh, other habits of parents so this is called non habit uh, non hereditary characters or loss of any body part due to disease or any accident if uh, uh, a person um, uh, if um, loss is uh, is hand in an accident so uh, uh, it, this this character will not transfer to his new generation because uh, uh, it is accidental it is uh, due to a disease it is due to accident it is not in his hereditary um, so this such kind of characters will called uh, non hereditary characters characteristics types of variations and there are two types of variations continuous variations and discontinuous variations dear student it is very really a, a, a delicate uh, topic types of variation a uh, continuous and discontinuous there is a, a small difference uh, uh, that we can judge that there are uh, uh, continuous and continuous uh, uh, variations uh, are uh, small uh, differences among individuals of same species as I uh, uh, told you people a uh, species species is the group of same organisms which are totally same in their uh, they can interbreed they can produce fertile upsprings they can live uh, uh, at, a, at a place they, they are totally same so uh, if we observe uh, small differences in individuals of uh, up of any species of same species so these uh, uh, differences will called continuous variations uh, intermediate forms means there are a small difference between uh, uh, their differences they, they differs very really slightly from each other so such kind of uh, continuous variations are called con continuous variations small differences we can find uh, and uh, uh, example of continuous variations are intelligence height in human and weight in human are in other animals if we see uh, intelligence there is small difference in intelligence uh, in humans if we see some are a little bit intelligence some are little more intelligent some are means we can't uh, um, um, difference differentiate um, um, easily between uh, among the uh, um, uh, people uh, among the um, uh, human that how much he is intelligent and, and height we can um, see a man of uh, a man with eye top uh, uh, five feet and five inches a man with five feet uh, six inches a man with uh, five feet eight inches so these are small changes uh, such kind of small changes and weight a person is with a weight of uh, 20 uh, 72 uh, um, kg I mean is with a uh, um, uh, 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 weight of uh, uh, 23 kg so these are small changes small differences are called continuous variations causes of continuous variation combined effect of genes uh, genes are actually the segment of DNA DNA is responsible for uh, our characteristics which are transferred from parent to offspring so when uh, uh, some genes combined um, their effect uh, comes out uh, 
uh, that kind of variation will be called continuous variation means continuous variation is just due to the combination combined effect of genes when some genes combinedly affect something change something uh, they will be called continuous variation or uh, in continuous variations uh, is some environmental factors can also affect uh, this uh, continuous variation and this continuous variation also called qualitative variation um, difference in a characteristic uh, in a characteristic that can be observed in a population easily uh, as i as i said that uh, uh, in continuous variation there was really small very uh, slight differences among the uh, individuals of a species here uh, in this continuous in the whole population you can easily different you can easily observe differences among the individuals so it means they are uh, large differences they are big differences among the individuals or populations so when you observe um, easily uh, differences in characters of uh, of uh, individuals so they means you 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 observe discontinuous variation sharp differences means sharp differences means uh, they are uh, very easy to observe among the individuals of species I mean in a, in a, within a species you can uh, absorb the discontinuous variation example of discontinuous variation person's blood group now you can it is, it is a big change it is a big uh, uh, variation uh, in uh, in human if you see a person is with um, blood group o a person is with blood group a a person is with blood, blood group b a person is with blood blood group a b it means they are sharp differences they are not small differences they are not slight difference so such kind of differences will be called such kind of variations will be called discontinuous variation means there is no continuity in uh, differences in variation there is cut in differences there is cut in variations for example a person is of a group uh, blood group uh, if a person is with blood group a and a person is with blood group b so the difference between a and b that is not continued that is discontinued means if we have a person with a and a b there are big difference there are discontinuous uh, difference there is a di discontinuous variation like extra finger it is commonly all the other uh, human have five fingers if a person is with uh, uh, um, uh, extra finger means he has six finger it means it is a it is not continuous um, uh, variation it is discontinuous the big uh, um, uh, variation it is tongue rolling in men as well uh, discontinuous example of discontinuous variation causes of discontinuous variations controlled by one or two genes in continuous variation we studied that they were uh, discontinuous uh, continuous was variation was controlled by uh, by the effect of combined gene effects here here it is controlled only by one or two genes means one gene can change uh, and the variation can can bring variations uh, and no environmental effect uh, will cause here mm. uh, this is all about this thank you students